In this video, I'm going to talk about the Lewis structure worksheet one single bond. So, from the last NESL worksheet, you need to know uh, how to calculate the NASL and then find the bonds and find the leftover electrons. So, we're going to use that information on to draw in Lewis structure. Now, this worksheet is single bond only. We have two other worksheets, so let's late, later on refer about that. So, this single worksheet, single bond worksheet, we have some notes here. Okay, so the steps to draw Lewis structure is step one, you want to decide if there's a central atom. Now, how do you know if there's a central atom is if you have total atoms, the numbers is equal to three or bigger than three. Then you can tell that you have central atom. So I can give you some example here. So let me just take off this paper. So example, I would say, O2, there will be no central atom because I only have two elements totally, right? Less than three. So there's no central atom. And then if I have CO2, yes, I do have central atom because one plus two is three. That's equal to three. If I have H2SO4, I also have central atom because totally two plus one plus four is bigger than three. Right, so you know if you have total is equal to three or more than three, you have central atom. It's okay that your structure does not have central atom. For example, O2, I don't have central atom, which is fine. Okay? Now, if you have central atom, the next step you want to decide is which is the central atom. There are two kinds. One is the always the least number of the atom. So for example, CO2, my C will be the least number, which is uh, one. So C is always central atom. And also H2SO4, Okay, my S will be central atom because S is only one. Another kind of the central atom is, is carbon. Okay, carbon is always in the middle. Now, carbon we will say that is in the central or in the middle. Now, what's the difference between central and the middle? Now, central in the middle, if I turn around to the blackboard here. Okay, now this is a big structure. Now, if I have one, two, three, four, five, six in the middle, and then I have hydrogen, around the system, this metal C, this circle C is so-called central because only one in the very, very middle, okay, the central. Now, what about this triangle C? This triangle C, we so-called metal because they are not at the end. There's something behind them or before them, but if they are not in the central, so we call it in the middle. What about this hydrogen? This hydrogen, we say that they at the end because they are the last element on the structure. They don't have anything after them. So then we will say we are at the end. Okay. So now we come back here. All right. So um, carbon um, will be in the central in the middle. All right. Then after the central atom, the next step we want to decide is uh, put the rest of the atoms. So I can have, uh, for example, nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, and phosphorus. They always in the middle or at the end. Hydrogen and halogen. Now, hydrogen, halogen, hydrogen is on group 17. So they both start with H. So these two will be at the end only. That means they are not be, never be in the middle or in the central. So how do you, how do I suggest you to draw the picture is, before bending, okay, B-E-N-D-I-N-G, before you bend a structure, like we have to bend a structure, so later on I will show you how to bend a structure. So before the bend a structure, let's say you draw the regular thing, forget about how many bonds, you just look up how many atoms you have. If you only have two atoms, you will draw like a linear thing. If you have three atoms, you will also draw like a linear, like a horizontal. We usually don't draw like vertical, we just draw linear. And then if you have four totally, if one is in the middle, central atom, that means I have four around. Now, I'm sorry, I have three around, okay? I have three around one. I have totally four. One is on the central and then three around. Now, three around, we have to put them distributed uh, shape. So then three would be like a Y shape or like upside down Y shape or be like triangle shape. Okay, Y shape, triangle shape, whatever you think this is easy. So I usually put Y shape, upside down shape or triangle shape, either way is fine, okay? If you have totally five, one in the middle, then you have four left. So four, right, uh, they will be evenly distributed, will be like a cross thing, all right, totally five. Now, if you have like two in the middle, then you will like extend this, like two in the middle, and then you have everything around. So if you have more, you will extend, extend. So just like this example, 
okay? I have more and more, and I will just extend, extend, extend. Like, I keep adding more and more and more, okay? Now, after you put the um, um, rest of the electrons, you want to start with single bond, okay? Now, in this worksheet, it's single bond, so you can basically just uh, look up how many bonds from the NESL. You can just go ahead to put the bonds up because this wash is single bond. But next week, like next class, we're going to talk about uh, sometimes your bonds number from the NASL would not match with the number of the bonds on your picture, right? The NASL bonds does not match with picture bonds. So in this case, maybe you will need double bond and or a triple bond, okay? Um, next step, step four, you're going to use H-O-N-C rule. H-O-N-C, you write down one, two, three, four on the bottom. Now, H-O-N-C, one, two, three, four rule is talking about how many maximum bonds they can form. How many maximum bonds they can form. So H here stands for hydrogen or halogen. So hydrogen can form one bond maximum. Oxygen can form two bond maximum. Nitrogen can form three bond maximum. And carbon can form four bond maximum. And this only works for neutral compound. It only works for neutral compound. So later on when we have a worksheet, we're talking about polyatomic, then the HONC rule would not work. Okay, only work for neutral. And then after you put the bonds on, after you check HONC rule, you're going to check if the atoms are full shell. Now, full shell meaning that they don't have too many electrons or they don't have too few electrons. So what does it mean by too many electrons? For example, carbon... Uh, let's say, for example, beryllium, Be is a special case. Be is supposed only need four electrons to be full shell, but you gave him eight. That means he's too full. He has too many electrons. Now, what does that mean by too few? For example, carbon need eight electrons to get full shell, but you only gave him four. So then it's not full enough. It's too few electrons. So make sure that everybody must be full shell. And then step six, you calculate the electron from the NASL, the box electron. This box electron is come from the step L, and L stands for leftover electron. So you have to put the leftover electrons around the atom, because not every electron gets bonded. Some electrons are left over. Now, there are two atoms never, never put Non pair, like never, never put leftover electron, never, never. So, what these two is carbon and hydrogen. Never put leftover electrons on carbon and hydrogen, never, never. And step seven is you need to sometimes bend the structure. So, how do you know if you need to bend the structure? Is when you have leftover electron around the central atom. Okay, when you have leftover around electron around central atom. So we will explain to you in this worksheet. So if you have no leftover electron around central atom, or you even have no central atom, then will be no banding. Okay, so we will show you. And then last step is you have the picture with the bonds and electron. You also have the NASL with the bonus electron. You want to compare with them, are they matching? If they're not matching, something wrong either from your picture or from your calculation. Okay. So let's start with the first question. Now, I assume that you guys know how to do NASL, so I'm not going to repeat the NASL step. Now, you want to write down, let's say, difluorine is F2. And this is a huge box, so you want to use about only one third of the spaces to do NASL. So one third of the space on the top to do NASL, because on the bottom, we're going to draw the picture. So uh, I'm not going to repeat the NASL step here. I think you know how to do it. So I would just write down how many bonds and how many electrons I calculate. So from the NASL, I get one bond and 12 electrons. So you box them, one bond and 12 electrons left over. OK, so I'm going to start to do drawing here. Now, because we may have banding, so you may want to start your picture on the left-hand side, and if you need to bend, you have to further banding on the right-hand side. If you don't need to do banding, there will be just one picture on the left. So step one is, do we have central atom? Now, F2, we don't have central atom because we don't have three elements, okay? So that means we only need to put the rest of the elements, so we only have two choices. We only have two atoms. We have no choice. So it will be just like that. So I'm going to put F and F, like that, no choice. And then step three is we gotta start with single bond. Okay, so we gotta start single bond. Okay, now in this worksheet, you actually can go ahead to check the bonds because this worksheet is all single bond. You can actually um, check the bonds by looking at, oh, one bond in the picture, one bond in the NASL, red check. Make sure you red check, okay? 
And after this, you want to do check the um, check the H O N C rule one two three four. Now F is halogen, which is H. So hydrogen or halogen can only form one bond maximum. So if you say okay, yeah, this F only have one bond. This F also only have one bond. So it uh, follow H O N C rule. So it's all set. And then step um, five is you want to check if the atoms are full shell. So these they are not full shell because we have leftover electron, and you can tell they are not full shell because from the NaSl, you tell me that F need eight electron to be full shell. F need eight, but if you look up this picture, this F. We only have two electron on this app. Well, how do you know we have two electron? Because one bond is two electron, one electron, one electron here. So this app only have two electron now. But NESL told me that he need eight. Only have two. That means I have to put six more to make app full shell. So uh, when you draw the bow diagram, you remember that I can only put two electron maximum on each side and make sure that the electron are only put around the spaces. Don't put electron on the bond. So we put two on each side. Okay, so make this F full shell. How do you know it's full shell? You count this F, one electron, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this F is full shell. Now we look up this one, it's the same idea. This F only have two electrons on the bond, but we need eight totally, so we need six more. So we put two, 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 two here. So then make this F, okay, so one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this F is also full shell, okay? And I want to write down the next is, okay, this uh, two electron on each side, two electron on each side, Okay, no one, no three. Don't give me one electron only, don't give me three electron. Okay, you can put two only. And never put electron on the bond. Okay? And then after that, we gotta check. Um, we don't have carbon, we don't have hydrogen, which is fine. And we want goal number seven is do we want to bend the structure? We only bend the structure when there are leftover electron around the central atom. We want to bend this structure when we have leftover electron around central atom. However, we don't have central atom here. That means we don't even need to bend. So the reason is, no, um, I'm going to use green pen. I'm going to use green pen. Okay, so no central atom here. That means no bending at all. No central atom, then no bending. We just leave this picture. And then finally, we're going to check, oh, is my bonds and electron on the picture match with my bonds and electron on the NASL? So we did check the bonds, one bond. And electron, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I got 12 electron, which match with my NASL. So red check. That means this is my final answer. Okay? I'm going to do another question is C, uh, carbon tetrahydride. So it is um, C, Cl4. So um, the NaSl is done here, all right? And you know how to do it. And um, it has the answer is four bonds and 24 electrons. So first, do we have central atom? Step one, do we have central atom? Yes, we do, because we have five totally. So my central atom is carbon, so we put carbon here. Okay, now we total have five, okay? We total have five. So if you look up this, it looks like that, way. Right? You have one in the middle and four around, totally five. Look like a cross shape. Okay, we follow this. So we put CL, 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 like that. And after that, step three, we start single bond. So single bond. And this worksheet only, you can immediately check the bonds, okay? I got one, two, three, four, and four bonds here. Again, if you go to double sheet, uh, double bond sheet or triple bond, you can't immediately check the bond because sometimes you have to add the bonds. But for now, it's okay. And then next is you want to check H O N C rule. Okay, so um, H is halogen, so C L only form one bond. H C L only one form one bond. Fine, and C can form four bond maximum. One, two, three, four. So the rule is fine. Okay, and then next is uh, you want to put uh, make sure the atoms are full shell by putting the electron. Now you know that some atoms are full shell, some atoms are not. So let's look it up. C is full shell. Well, how do I know full shell? Number one, I cannot put 
any leftover electron on carbon. So I cannot put leftover electron on carbon. That's for sure. And number two, how many electron on carbon? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's carbon need eight. So carbon is all set. I don't need to put car any electron carbon is full shell. Now Cl, if you look up this Cl, Cl need um, eight. But here the bond only have two electron. One bond have two electron. So he needs six more. So we got to do two, two, two on each side. Two plus six. Okay, and after that, um, we want to ban a structure if there are leftover electron around central atom. Now, we only ban the structure when you have leftover electron on central atom, but central atom is carbon, we cannot put any leftover. So here is no banding. So we write the reason is no lone pair, no lone pair. Now, what does that mean by lone pair? Lone pair is um, this is lone pair. One lone pair equals two leftover electron. Okay, one lone pair equals two leftover electron. So if you look up my calculation here, I have six lone pair. I do have six lone pair. One lone pair, two lone pair, three lone pair, four lone pair, five lone pair, six lone pair. Well, lone pair, lone meaning like not share, pair mean two. So I do have. Um, long pair six here. But if you look up, this carbon has no long pair. So no long pair around central atom. No long pair around central atom. Okay, no long pair around central atom, so then no bending. And then this is the answer. So this is the answer. So let me show you there's a one question that is like band, um, bending. Okay, so at the back dihydrogen monoxide. So we do NaSL and I will get my answer, two bond and four leftover electron. So dihydrogen monoxide is actually H2O. Okay, so we do have a central atom which is O. So we put O here. Now if you look back here, I have three things totally, right? H2O had three things. So if you had three things, then this is the kind of like structure before banding. So we put H here and H there. Okay, so we do it like that way, and then we can start with single bond. So we start with single bond. And again, for this worksheet only, we can immediately check. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, in the fun, I forgot to check the electron. I'm sorry. Um, in the fun, I do have to check the electron. So I have 24 electron here, and I do have 24 electron in the picture because six for each, and I have four. So six times four is 24. So the electron is all set. So let's go back here. Okay, so I have a two bond and two bonds, so the bonds are good. Now we want to check um, H, O, and C rule. Okay, so H only one bond and oxygen can form two bonds, so that rule is also fine. And then full shell. Now you can tell hydrogen is already full because hydrogen only need two. Hydrogen only need two, but oxygen is not full. Oxygen need eight, and I only have one, two, three, four. So oxygen is not full shell. Oh wait, well I can see that it's not because I have leftover electron. So I have to put four onto the oxygen. So we're gonna put two on the uh, black, blue pen actually. Okay, so we have to put two on the top and then two on the bottom. Okay, and then next is. Um, Band this structure when there are leftover electron around central atom. Now, this is central atom. We do have leftover electron. We do. We do. So we need to band the structure. Now, the lone pairs or the left, like, again, one lone pair equals two leftover electron. Okay? I don't know if I write that down. One lone pair equals two leftover electron. Okay, one lone pair equal two leftover electron. So um, the leftover electron hate the bond. Okay, so you want to bring all the X to the top and then bend the bonding as like a V shape. So let me show you. Okay, so I'm going to put the O and then the two electron here, two electron like a, like a, um, like a uh, ears, like Mickey Mouse ears, and then bend the structure like an upside down H. So you bend. You ban the structure because the bond hate the electrons. They hate each other. Separate them as fast as possible. Okay? So this is actually the water structure. Okay? So the reason why we need to do this is because we have 
long pair, okay? Long pair meaning one long pair is two left over electron. We have long pair around central atom. So then we have to do bending. Okay, now I'm gonna do two more questions that uh, I don't have this opportunity to show you in class, but I'm leaving it on here. You can feel free to copy them. Now the next part question is nitrogen trihydride. So I get H, I mean NH3, and after I do calculation, I get three bonds and two electron. Okay. I do have central atom because I have four things. So my central atom is the least one, which is nitrogen. Okay? And then I have three around, so I have totally four. So if you look up here, I have totally four. One in the middle and then three around. It looks like a Y shape. You can do Y shape, you can do upside one shape, or you can do um, triangle shape, whichever is easy for you. I'm doing um, Y shape, okay? So I'm going to put hydrogen. Hydrogen and hydrogen, okay? And then I'm gonna start with single bond. So single bond, okay? Single bond like a Y shape, okay? And then again, for this worksheet only, you can immediately tell that, oh, I have three bonds in a picture, I have three bonds at any cell, so I'm good. Oh, by the way, again, I keep forgetting to check the electrons on the top. On the top picture, I do have four electrons and four electrons on the picture. Make sure you check, okay? Now here, I have two electrons left over, and I know something is not balanced, which is the nitrogen, because nitrogen need a electron, but nitrogen here, I only have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I have to put leftover on the nitrogen. I cannot put hydrogen, uh, electron on hydrogen, because number one, I told you hydrogen have no leftover, and second, hydrogen is already full out, because hydrogen only need two electron, one bond has two electron. So all the hydrogen is full out, you should not put leftover. But nitrogen is not happy, so we gotta put two on the top. Now, this is not my final picture, because I do have to band. Why banding? Because I have long pair around the central atom. Same, same reason as this. I have long pair around central atom. So I have to band. So I'm going to put my N here. I'm going to put the long pairs on the top, the, the electrical electron chart, and then I put the bottom, like a chicken feet shape, like a chicken feet shape, like that. Okay? So H, H. And H. So basically, you keep this H. You keep this H. Right? You see that I keep this. So the only thing I do is I bend this instead of up will be down. I bend this instead of up, I bend this down. And this is my final answer. Okay? I'm going to show you one more. Is dicarbon pentahydrogen monochloride. So um, basically, the answer is seven bonds and six electrons. So I can actually show you is um, I have... Um, C2, um, H5, and then Cl. C2, H5, Cl. So carbon obviously is the central, and I have two carbon. I have two carbon, okay? And then uh, you will start to draw pictures something like that. So if you have three carbon, just extend more and more. If you have four carbon, just extend more and more, okay? And then you will put thing around. And be careful, you can only have four bonds maximum on carbon. That's why you only have four things around. Okay, so here um, I'm going to have five hydrogen. Now, one, two, three, four, five. Five hydrogen and then one Cl. Now, the question is, I know some people probably ask me, well, how do I know where is the Cl? Honestly, Cl can be here, can be here, can be here, can be anywhere. So if I draw the picture, I can actually draw the picture like that. I can actually draw like that. I'm sorry, H. I can put the CL on here. Okay, or, or I can put the CL here. Or I can put the CL here. It doesn't matter because it's like to them. It's because like it's Lewis structure. Okay, so it doesn't matter. As long as your CL is at the end, not in the middle. The key point is CL is not in the middle. CL, every time when I put the CL is at the end. I have nothing behind, then it's fine. It's only at the end. So let's say I'm choosing this picture. So I put single bond. Okay, now how many bonds are the picture? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I got seven bonds. So the seven bonds is working fine. 
and then um, each one is full shell because the C is two four six A four. This C two four six A four, and then um, the halogen is two 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 halogen is full. But I still have leftover electron, which is six electron. Where it is? They must go to chlorine because chlorine I need eight, but you only have two, so I have to put two on each side to make six electron. Then I can put a check mark on here okay oh i keep forgetting about checking the electron here so i got three bonds here i have two electron here so i all set 